Hello, everybody. It's still standing up with Craig Shoemaker. There it is. Isn't that a cool sign right it there? It is a cool sign. Still standing up. There's a lot of significance to still standing up. We're going to find out in this episode how Dennis Haysbert is still standing up in pastels. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Craig. I had heard the rumor that Vanna White, you know who Vanna White is mm-hmm. from Wheel of Fortune, that she was cast by Merv Griffin, who created the show right. because of her big head. Yeah. I was told that. Can so I was it. I had to interview with him for this new show that he had, and I was up for the show, and I had to go to his office, and I was nervous because I, I had heard some things that I was <laughs> about underwear or whatever. <laughs> oh wow! So you had heard these things, or are you just surprised that I'm saying it? Both. The, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I was nervous, uh-huh. but then I went into the office and it was loaded with people. And he he talks, he talks, and he doesn't interview. He just talks about his life. You could say the sky is blue. Oh, I was skydiving with Ronnie Reagan out of the blue sky. I mean, everything was a segue into something. So at the very end, I go, "Hey, I don't know if I'm going to get this job, but I have to find out something now that I'm meeting with you. Is it true that you cast Vanna White because of her big head? Because if that's true, I'm your guy. I'm an eight. And he goes, "Oh, it's true." She didn't give it eight by ten. It was an eight and a half by eleven. <laughs> what this whole thing about how he found her big head? But it's true. There's only one star that I know that is the smallest head. He disappears in his hats. Who's that? There's no way you'll get it because he has not uh, Michael J. Fox. He's an old buddy back in, and he did literally would wear a hat, you know, to be anonymous or whatever. And mm-hmm. he was anonymous. He was just buried in his hat. That was the smallest big. Smallest head. He probably just had a really big head. No, 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 no. Small head. Yeah, yeah, trust me. It's it's a it's a tiny little head. It surprises me because usually that is what is cast as people with these big heads. I guess it takes up the screen or whatever. It's Humphrey Bogart had a huge dome too. There's a whole list list of big heads. Orson Welles, all those guys. Oh yeah, Orson Welles too. That's another great movie. Third Man. I thought you were going to say the usual Citizen Kane, but you're nothing 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 typical about Dennis Haysbert. No, he's third not. man. Trust me. So now I have to watch two movies: The Young Lions and The Third Man. Young Lions, you're going to love. Really? Yeah. All right. Can my kids watch it? Yeah. All right. So you go to junior high, and what's your first thing you're cast in? Um, uh, I didn't. I just saw guys on stage chewing up the scenery, and I said, "I can do that." And so it wasn't until I was in high school that I started doing. Um, uh, doing plays. Oh, that the, we're, we keep going with these little transitions. First is ten. You're getting inspired. Yeah, yeah. I want to do that. Well, this is this is then how you're going to junior high. This is the progression. I didn't do anything. These people suck. They're chewing up the furniture. I didn't say they sucked. Yes, that's just what said, I'm saying. Is okay. okay, because chewing up the furniture is not a good thing. Right. If those are, they, but they look like they were acting, having fun. What that, what that means is they're overacting. Well, they right. were. They were. You know, they were. Gosh, man, they were junior high students. Yeah, of course. Know? Yeah, but I had, uh, you know. Uh, uh, a feeling and acumen already for for the art, you know, and I just said okay, you know, because I, you know, because I was, you know, I was, you know, I was a nervous kid, you know, I, I liked football. Was, would you, did you go to a mixed school? It was a, oh yeah, a very mixed. Yeah. So there's everything's on that stage. All right. So now yeah. now high school arrives. And high school, say, and I discovered we have tryouts, and you're going football or theater. Both. What do I do? I went to. I did both. I got it. I got a lot of people, you know, uh, talking about me. But you know what? I was a defensive end, so they talked too much shit. So I'll see you out on the field. <laughs> I was all league, all county. Wow! So I, I hit people really hard. Yeah. So they but, can't say, "Hey, theater boy." Right. Right. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I wouldn't go out for theater. I didn't want to get my ass kicked because that was a real thing in Philly. Theater was only, you know, for. Okay. Oh, man. Flying around as I, Peter Pan. I loved it. One of my best friends. He's still my one of my best friends. Uh, he lives in uh, New Jersey now, New York. He's he was a singer. Yeah. So we both, you know, so we never clashed. He was the, he was singer theater. I was theater singer. Mm-hmm. And um, now he used to sing opera and you know did opera all over the world and you know and uh, I you know I was an actor here. So uh, what? But what was your first play? My first play was uh, Guess Who's Coming? Not, oh, not Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Guess Who's Coming to Dinner? I did all Sydney Portier stuff. And, in high uh, school? 
in high school. So they would bring these plays to high school, or did you have something yeah. to do with it? And, then we, said, we, do we shell, do and then we used to do nutshell versions of Shakespeare. Oh, yeah, we did that too. We, you know, we shorten it up, yeah. condense it. Yeah. We used to do that with musicals too. We combine all these musicals. Like, yeah. they'd say, "Hey, Craig, I'm sure something's coming. Could be. But, Who but, knows? My, but my first thing, my first thing was I did. I am one of the curtains for Pajama Game. You're one of the curtains. When I, I held, I, I would open the curtains. <laughs> yeah, I could have was big enough to be a curtain. But uh, I, I would open the curtains for different uh, segments. Is, of, uh, isn't that pajama? great about theater, though? You, everybody has to have a job. You're not just a star. Yeah. You know, that's what I really like that about theater. That doesn't happen in Hollywood. It's not, you don't see somebody, I'm, I'm a gaffer, yeah. but next week I'm going to star in a movie. No, you are just have to be a gaffer. You're in the union. I love that. I did all props, right? You do everything to involve I, I, I your wish community. We, I wish we had more time because I, it's a reason why I, li- I love crews, because I was crew. And uh, a yeah. reason why I love atmosphere, because I did atmosphere. Same here, right. I exactly. did atmosphere out in, the, you know, out in Santa Clarita, man. Yeah. It's 115 uh, mm-hmm. degrees, yeah. and uh, somebody took mercy on me and brought me one of those chamois. Remember when they used to uh, sh- use chamois and uh, sea yeah. breeze? Yeah, you know, and put it in ice water. Right, and, it, and you cool and, off and with that. Go, oh my god! Because the atmosphere extras, yeah, they are not treated, you know, with all the utmost respect. And then you're oh. watching, you're watching the actors who are paid. They butt in line. They go first in line, and right. they're, you know, they're lauded. But you're like, get back there. I did tons of background work. As a matter of fact, when I was Tom Cruise's brother, mm-hmm. I wasn't cast as his brother. I, I, I got in there. <laughs> mm-hmm. I got in there. And I said, I'm going to be his brother. And I said, hey, man, congratulations. It was this graduation after that movie Taps. Remember the movie Taps? Right. And the other day I was watching Witness, and I'm in the background on that, too. It was, it was big, though. Yeah. It was, when you see yourself, did you actually see yourself in a movie when you did extra work? Background um, work? I don't There's think so. Some, is there some I movie? I know what that, I did. Come on, I want to hear a movie that you did that I'm going to like. I'm going to sit there with you. Uh, and we're gonna my, go, there I a, am. There I am. It was a live action um, uh, uh, cartoon show on Saturday mornings. And uh, I can't think of the name of it, but it was. They, had a, they had a talking chimp in it. And Lancelot uh, Link? No, it wasn't Lancelot Link. Do you remember Lancelot Link? Yeah, I remember that. It was a talking chimp. Yeah. I have no idea why that didn't make a comeback. But boy, man, I saw the way they treated this chimp, man. I said, oh, my <laughs> fucking God. I said, is this how they treat actors, man? <laughs> they beat the shit out of this thing, man. No. Oh, my God. You know. And you were in the background? No, 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 no. This is off camera. Just, you know, before they, you know, got him to do the things that they did. You know? no, I mean, you were in the background of that show. That you uh, were hired as a background extra. Yeah, right. yeah. I want to see you. Got to pull one up. I had fun showing my kids the other day. There I go. There I go. Man, you know. pull it up. Go to, go to my website. You see everything. No, you won't. You won't see your background work. Well, no, you probably won't. Right. But I don't know where to find that. that Breakout role was what? <sighs> I have an idea. Wait a minute. Was. I did ten years of television before I did Major League, but Major League was my breakout. Oh, role. ten years. Oh yeah. Which came first, just the ten of us or Major League? Just the ten of us. Oh, okay. So you, I know you're on that. Yeah. So major, but major league was the one. Oh uh, yeah. That, and that, to this day, people probably call you Serrano. Is that your name? Serrano. Yeah. They still call you that, right? Oh yeah. And they have you do voodoo. Oh yeah. Does anyone actually ask you to do? I should have you do that when we golf together. Hey. Can you voodoo my club? <laughs> I don't know what it would do to it right, right now, but yeah, sure I could. Anything's an improvement. You've played with me. Yeah. You and Irby irk me how much you've improved. It's It makes me sick. It means – it just it just means I'm working too hard, and you guys aren't. <laughs> so that's, it pisses that's me off. That's about it. But that's, you guys well, that's are not killing true, it now. But, but that's not true of uh, Irby, man. Irby just finished a, a, a stint on two sh- – Hit Two shows. hit shows at the Irby. same time. Yes, and he just did this show. That was only his second podcast he's ever done. And this you don't my, do them either. No, this is my first. This is your first? First podcast. Wow. It was pretty painless, Who wasn't knew? it? Yeah, you know, just talk. That's and, what and it you, is. And you just, just know the subjects you want to stay away from. <laughs> well, I opened up with porn. That was probably not a good move. <laughs> well, I, you know, I probably loosened up a lot of people and said, <laughs> what are we going to hear today? <laughs> you didn't know that about me. No. It's it's. I wish I didn't. Tomcat Angels, 
Tomcat. And the and stop. The, la, ad, la, la. the ad goes like this: Tomcat z- zipper sound angels. They're high in the sky and low in the sheets. It's Tomcat z- angels. I like the angels. Angels. <laughs> That's what I had to do to try to get tape. And I remember watching it going, man, you know, these what? are you horrible just, actors. Just go and get yourself a, a, a job in a grocery store, man, and then, you know, wait your turn. <laughs> Soft porn. No. Oh, that well, could have, man, that could have cruel. That could have crushed you. How about a grocery store? They can't tell. Hey, I can act. Hey, you know what? I need I a price to, I, check. That guy. He should be the lead. I used to say, you know, I used to, uh, in my, the grocery store that I worked in, I used to tell people about the specials. And with I, that voice. Yeah. Well, that's that's how you got the Allstate. Yes. Here's your special. Yes. <laughs> on aisle seven, you know, <laughs> Rice Krispies are now on sale. Or two for 99 cents or whatever. <laughs> By the way, when I was a kid, I thought serial killers was like the Lucky Charms guy. I literally thought, oh, they're down. I wouldn't go down the aisle. Oh, they they're, work they're for gonna, cereal. They're yeah. going to kill me. Yeah. Anyway, Dennis, this was fun. This was I hope fun. it was good for you. Um. How do we find you? You can find me on at dot TV. No, that's your email. Oh, that's my address. email. <laughs> Dennis at Dennis Haysbert dot TV. You forgot to email you. Now. That's what I think an email me. Yeah. They can find my email. That's all right. But but and also get your your uh, caps and gowns. Ga- I was going to say cap and gown. Cap and gown. <laughs> You're not going to graduate. Caps and gowns on. No, you have great clothes. But Thank but you. the problem with them is is only you look good in them. I don't look good. I wouldn't look good. I'll try them. Huh. Like I said, I, I did it for me because I thought I was losing my identity. Yeah, but more people are buying them. It's not just for you. It's yeah. for other people to wear. But oh, they're, yeah. they're colors that probably don't go with my Ghanaian tint. Well, you know, <laughs> they got all kinds of colors. You know. I know you do, but they're very colorful. Maybe yeah. that'll make my game better. Yeah, maybe they'll sell more if I just make a lot of grays and <laughs> yellows and, you know, golds. And all the stuff that doesn't look good on I me. Need, I need a gray. <laughs> I, need. I know you. T- I, I, I have to say one more thing. I just, it's just like outing him. I got you a shirt when you came after the fish and you said you needed a shirt and you turned it down because of the color. I'll never forget that. I was shocked. No, it's just I am a very spiritual person and I'm not certain colors I'm not supposed to wear on my body. Where's and, it supposed to come from? Then we're going to wrap it with this because well, this it's, is it's interesting. A, it's, it, this is a spiritual thing. It's, you know, I'm, I you know, I used to wear black all the time. Okay. And um I for now on I cannot I can wear black socks. I can't wear black underwear. I can't wear black shirts. Or, I know. You or, turn my shirt down. You'd rather black, go. I can't wear he black hat. He came to hat. dinner in front of my kids with no shirt on. That's not true. <laughs> That's not. Don't believe that. Did, you, did I ever get that shirt back? I have it for you. It's cleaned and everything. I just keep, keep forgetting. I'm going to put it in the car. Keep it. No, I'm going to keep it in the car and bring it to you because you'll, you'll hang it over my head <laughs> <it> over <laughs> every fucking day we talk. So I'm going to bring That's back That's a good your, meal that I made. I made a great meal. Okay. What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> the, 15, the, the fifteen percent came through a little bit. Oh no, no, fourteen. But no. So what's okay. the, Oh, now he's now he's taking it back. What's the spiritual? What is the spiritual thing? What is the element of that that you can't wear black? It's it's not uh, because that's like it's, a it's, death color. Well, it's just energy. energy. Energetically, my mother always told me. She says, "Remember your pastels." I, <laughs> I look good in pastels. I almost, I almost this, came here. I almost wore pink today. This is the greatest way to end with your mom's quote. Remember, folks. Remember your pastels. Remember your pastels. I'm gonna. She, I'm gonna you look li- so good in your I'm pastels. I'm gonna live with that. Your pastels. I'd be beaten up for a pastel when I was a kid. Okay, All right, try me. D. <laughs> a, a real pleasure. Pleasure's and uh, let's go. Let's go play when this rain stops. But. Uh, so they'll go find you there. And, uh, folks, I hope you had a great time. His first podcast ever, okay? Make sure you write to him and tell him how great he was. All oh, right? bless you. All right. All right. See you all later. Next time, spread the word.